What's going on, everybody? I am the one, the only, the W-O-O-K-I-E. Joined here by the normal cast of Misfit Bandits, we got Big Z. Hey, hey, it's a, it's a late show for us. Like, they don't know what time we're recording, but... No, they have no idea. PM, bro. Yeah, it sure is. We got JR. Hello, Keyforge community. And we got Dr. Sheep. I am excited to be here tonight. This is the yes. first time in a long time. Uh, I, yeah, I could agree. This is probably one of the most exciting, uh, casts. Uh, yeah, with, with, with this news, we could not wait, and there's excitement. There's excitement. So, I'm gonna tell you guys, just go ahead, get blurt it out, do what you, do what you three have been building to do, because I really wasn't, I knew about it, but couldn't contribute much, so tell us what you guys got going on. All right, uh, so... We've got confirmation that there will be no vault tours until probably much later in the year. We don't know exactly when. We know it's going to be late. Um, we know that FFG themselves will not be at Gen Con. We all saw that. We talked about it on our cast. I mean, this bummed us out a little bit, and so we've been feeling that. And um, <laughs> as much as some of us like to complain, some of us want to do stuff about this instead of complaining all the time. Uh, so with our collective resources and brain power, we've come up with an idea. What what's going to happen? Ewok, talk to me. What what are well, we all going to do? Let's go ahead and just lay the name out there. Key Forge Live. That is exactly what's going to happen. And so I want everyone right now go ahead, take out your your phone and mark down. It is July twenty third, twenty fourth, and twenty fifth. And Key Forge Live is our big event that we want you to all be a part of. Um, we have an amazing community, and so July 23rd, 24th, 25th, Keyforge Live is happening, and I'm going to pass it over to Sheep, because we have a venue that we have actually booked. We are, we're moving forward. So Sheep, where are we going? We are set up at the Four Points by Sheridan. It is very close to the Milwaukee Airport. They have a shuttle right there, so if you want to fly in, uh, all you got to do is grab their shuttle, and you'll be right over to where the event center is going to be. Uh, they got plenty of space for us, um, scalable space, so we, no matter how big we want to get, we have space. So we're very excited to have this event already booked and paid for, so we're ready to go, ready to have people, we're ready to play Keyforge. And I will go ahead and say this is also, there's parking, so for all of those within drive distance, we have a lot of Keyforge community members that are coming from uh, Minneapolis, uh, we have, uh, from Minnesota, we have Illinois Keyforge players, we have Wisconsin Keyforge players, we have people who are, are in Indiana, and so even the drive time from East Coast, if you can't fly... I already looked it up, but I'm in Texas, which is not close, but because it's summer, I think that's very drivable for me. If if my buddy X-Ray wants to come, I can pick him up on the way. Um, You'd have to get there a little earlier, because I do plan on coming up earlier to help set up and whatnot. Um, but we that could that could make that happen for a couple people in deck. And it's super easy to be able to go ahead and Google Map because we are literally across the street from the airport. So um, if you're not familiar with it, uh, we're in southeastern Wisconsin. So it really is very convenient for many different uh, individuals. And we're hoping people can fly in. We're hoping people can go ahead and drive. And again, July 23rd, 24th, 25th, Keyforge Live is happening. So over these three days at the Four Points Sheridan by the Milwaukee Airport, what do we have going, gentlemen? Well, we, uh, we really enjoyed the PAX format, which was mm-hmm. three days of huge events. Uh, so we are kind of taking that as the start of how we built it out. And it launches with Z's big event, right? All right. So let's talk about that. We each kind of have, uh, I guess we Divided up or not, but like this is the Archon is one of the things that I enjoy the most out of all the Archon formats that I've played. I have favored uh, Survival Archon the most. I think it's the most fun, it's accessible, people have fun with it. 
Uh, we're going to kick off the Survival Archon event on two, at 2 p.m. on Friday, July 23rd. It's going to run eight rounds that day. should finish around 9 p.m. So 2 to 9 p.m. on Friday. You have best of one survival in the normal style. Free deck survival once your deck is eliminated it's gone. You personally are eliminated after you run out of decks. Anyone with any amount of remaining decks will continue their uh, quest for survival on day two, starting at 9 a.m. And then we will finish that event when there is one remaining player. Um, I'm not going to break down as far as who, like first place, second place, prizing at the time, because I've got an idea of where we're going to go with that. But the top four players will earn. Uh, a sum of $1,000 in cash prizing. So oh, hold on, Zeke. Say that again. There is a yeah. $1,000 cash yeah. prizing. For the survival that event that ends, starts at PM Friday the 23rd and ends on Saturday, probably around noon, uh, $1,000 of prizing will be awarded uh, some kind of derivation of the top four. Most likely, I'm going to probably end on the first $5. But I, I want everyone to be able to hear that. That is <clears throat> actual real cash money. That's what we believe in this game. And it, I know that you've heard complaints in the past from us, but we also back it up that we want to play Keyforge. We want competitive Keyforge. And we're putting it out there to be able to have a lot of fun here. So bring your best decks. I think survival format is absolutely amazing. And so you have chances to be able to think through what are you going to bring in the survival format? Um, but a thousand dollars is out there as cash prize. Well for done. sure. And the entry for this event is going to be $20 in the upcoming weeks. Once we get a place for point to sell for you all, you'll register the event, um, get that in out as as we get all that up, that's all happened pretty fast and furious. We looked today, we finalized on where we wanted to be a couple of days ago, um, but that will be one of the events, three main events. Advance. Uh, yeah, $1,000 prizing on the line, $20 entry. That one starts. Again, we're going to save the dates a lot in this kind of like, you know, save the date cast. So that one starts July 23rd at 2 p.m. Um, it's in Central Time, so 2 p.m. time. Place is, um, and a uh, rough. So we're gonna follow that event up with what was yep, missing. This one, this one's yours, Dan. Go for it. Yeah. What What did we miss? We all missed a mass mutation three deck sealed event in the Vault Tour style. So that you get your three decks, you pick your favorite one, and then we play six rounds and we make our cut. Um, for this, we are planning Keyforge physical prizes. Uh, so play mats. Um, I have one of those Shadows figurine prize kits, so we'll definitely have that to give away. The key trackers. Um, we expect to have custom play mats to give out too. Yes. So we're going to have. There is the custom play mats will be awarded to some derivation of the top cut. Um, our funding is probably going. To, we'll talk about how we're going to have, go about funding, but the funding will potentially influence whether it's like top four, top eight, top sixteen. Play we'll talk about that for sure. But there's definitely going to be so this, but this one's going to be a core of physical prizes. Um, but it's going to be that classic vault tour style. Like MM never got its day in the light right for a vault tour style sealed event. So we want to give it that. Yeah, so that is our that's intent. my favorite uh, type like uh, out of all the sets, even with ET out. MM was by far my favorite to play. Um, my most fun deck to play is MM. One set to play that never got its highlight. So even when official play does come back, um, if they run a sealed event, it's probably going to be whatever the current set is. Yep. Check. Might not even be DT by then. We don't know. Well, um, we're hoping. Like we, we expect a Vault Tour this year. And I would expect it to be sealed dark tidings if it happens. I agree. So, that would be my so we, we we don't want to take that. We want to let them have it. MM was missed, so we want to do that. So you you want to talk about our third one? You well, walk? yeah. Before we get there, so maybe you aren't able to come out for the big survival event. Uh, if uh, 
Sealed event is your piece. If you like exploring 3-deck MM, we're looking at that at Saturday from 1 o'clock Central Time to 10 p.m., just so everyone can kind of see. And it is an X2 cut. So, um, you know, we have that flexibility, and uh, we'll continue on day two from those who are left. And, you know, so we're looking at basically having a little break between when the Archon survival event finishes and just picking up from there. So similar to PAX, and it's 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 going to be hot, heavy and coming right from Archon to sealed. Uh, the third event is it, it's it's got to be a fan favorite. Uh, so many people really enjoy it, and so Sunday, um, Sunday morning, maybe you didn't go ahead and do so hot with your sealed pull. Maybe you want to just have some fun with some of your friends. This is going to be a four round team event. So we're looking at Archon reversal and short adaptive, and it'll be thirty dollars per team. Um, so really, really nice, easy going entry, uh, 10 bucks per player. And we're just going to have a lot of fun with everyone sitting around. Again, that's why we're putting this together to have fun with playing Keyforge, being able to see people we haven't seen in, you know, frankly, over a year, making some new friends and being able to just have a blast playing Keyforge. Um, and we have some prizes here. Again, some custom team, uh, mats is what we're looking at. And, there's some just some great things that we want to throw out to be able to have people come out, have fun, but survival three deck MM sealed. And then here a team, uh, team event. For sure. Like, uh, as far as like the, the mats, like the, the goal there, well, there'll be more OP prize for, for the team event as well. But the main thing is that the winning team, uh, will get three mats that there will only be of. So that would be the only way to get those mats. And then we're expecting, uh, with, you know, survival knockouts and other things that we'll be running sealed pods and non-sealed pods, um, you know, exact, exact details on how those are going to run. We're still working on, somewhat dependent on if we can find some sponsorships or, uh, other prizing, you know, like, cause, uh, we're not FFG. This is, yeah. this is Keyforge Live. So, Shards are not going to be the um, currency that we provide. So Those shards get them so much. Uh, but well, we do have sure lots can. of good ideas about prizes. I'm going to reach yeah. out to. I'm um, going as soon as we get one more thing. So yeah, right, no. our our big dream with this event is that it <laughs> does well and we can make it annual. Um, and on that, we're going to be reaching out to FFG here looking for Grand Championship kits and if we can't get that maybe a Prime kit would be okay too but if we could turn our sealed event into a Grand Championship that is really our dream and if that isn't possible this year that's that's fine too um, but we'd really like to show that this event has the size and the capability that when Grand Championships do open up again that we already have a place in central U.S. ready to run a grand championship. So that way we can get that going and have that in the future. Yeah, that's the big thing. Like, we have no certain expectations or whatever as far as what FFG will say. We're going to ask, see what they say. If they say no, it can't be run as a grand championship. We're still going to run it. We're still going to have really good pricing um, as far as... At least I think it'll end up being really good pricing. Um, there's obviously a thousand dollars for just the one event. Um, we are going to try to get uh, quite a bit other stuff that I think we'll enjoy. As I said, we're not going to lock into anything specific until I get confirmations. Um, but we do have a lot of good ideas. I think far we're reaching. Um, but why are we doing this, Ewok? Like, what's what's what are? I mean, we talked about potentially like one of us can play in each one of it just fun we can't win anything but like we're gonna be putting a lot of time a lot of our own money into this why are we doing this you walk well as I said earlier it's for the love of keyforge i have gone ahead and preached this for quite a while we have an amazing keyforge community and i i do believe honestly that if we just ran this and it was our friends showing up we would have a blast but we love the keyforge community and so we're willing to put our own time our efforts and frankly our own money um, we have the venue that's already been secured. We have money that we're putting up for prizing. And so we're going to have an absolute blast on this weekend. So please, please, please make sure that if you can 
July 23rd, 24th, 25th is the weekend to save for Keyforge Live. Um, and we w- love to see you out. We'd love to see you playing some Keyforge. And uh, it's going to be over again at the Four Points by Sheridan and Milwaukee Airport. So we love our Keyforge community and we're, we do it for this game. Again, a lot of time and effort put into going ahead and creating the podcast, going ahead and participating in all the different components. Um, that our Keyforge community has. And the Keyforge community has always been extremely supportive. So we hope to be able to see you. Yeah. As Ewok said, save those dates. Um, and that's what we got for you today, right? We're, we're excited to have our new event here. We got, yeah. we already got great support coming from Sydney Steel and, and her as the newest co-host on Help for Future Self. Um, she's going to be helping us out with getting this going too. Um, so, you know, we're we're looking for other people to, you know, get behind us and want to help us make this event big and awesome because that's, you know, we want live Keyforge. We want big, cool events. And we hope you all do, too. And I'm, I'm going to say we have a big, cool event, but we want to make it bigger. And so with your support, that can happen. So please go ahead and reach out again. You can find us on Discord. Um, we are very, very active in the Keyforge community. So spot us up, go ahead and reach out to us and hopefully we can definitely see you. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how much of it is draw, but anyone that comes out to the live event will obviously get to meet the four of us. You know, Wookie and me, uh, met a ton of people, um, back when we were doing live events. A lot of oh, people. Oh, great. See, now and... they're not going to come out because we're going to be there. Oh, All right. But yeah, no, like, no. I, th- I think it's time to like, you walk and sheep to be recognized as part of the, the, the AC crew and all that. Um, but the big thing is it's more than an AC. Like our goal is it's, it's called Keyforge Live, not AC Live or whatever, because I mean, we need to celebrate this game. Like I, I talk about this game a lot to people like that when people talk about the state of the game, blah, blah, blah. Like I, I will every single day come back like this is literally the best IP card game I know of. Uh, it's the best most intelligently designed game I'm aware of. I've played hundreds of board games, literally hundreds, and I think this is the most designed out. Well, and the other piece, Z, is for Keyforge Live, there are some other personalities. I know that, uh, Sheep, you announced for Sydney Steel being able to join us, and, and that is a big name, and we are, appreciate Sydney being able to um, come on out be able to throw our support behind us. There are other names that you will hear. We just want to make sure that everything, this is coming, as Z said, hot and heavy. Want to make sure that everything is, you know, eyes are dotted, T's are crossed before we go ahead and announce any other big names. But Sydney definitely wanted her name thrown out and we appreciate it dearly. Um, again, the Keyforge community is absolutely amazing. So keep, keep in touch with us uh, and keep your ear out for more details coming in regards to pricing in regards to uh, sponsorship and other people who are there, and just different ways that you can be an active part of this upcoming event. Uh, yeah, lots will be added and change it. Change the support will be there. One hundred percent behind this. Uh, save the date is the date. There will be three big as we can get them live Keyforge events, July twenty third, fifth, at the Four Points by Sheridan Milwaukee Airport. Uh, it's gonna be a blast. We are looking at any of our keyboard friends that we've missed for well over a year and a half. Well, I don't know about uh, you guys, but I'm I'm pumped. Like I'm ready for live Keyforge again. We've pay, played a ton on the Crucible. Um, I mean, and to be able, I mean, this is kind of you guys did a bang up job. Like I said, I know I didn't get to do much of the planning. Um, or any really, but I mean, you got an Archon event, you got a sealed event and you got a team event. Like, I don't really know what more going to one Keyforge event I could ask for. I mean, you, you have pretty much, I mean, what try it, what are you missing? Try it. And that's pretty much about it. Or what? Yeah. The, the only events that I think we're like really missing is the ones that are actually hard themselves, uh, based on the community. Like, cause well, like I went to the Vegas one and I played in the Triad one and I love to play Triad. It's one of the things I love playing. But at the end of the day, I was, I was pretty wiped out and a lot of people I talked to were saying. So we don't have that there, but we, we have the three things we have there. And as we get more people, just like the vault ish scene, 
can add like other events go assigned at times of more than pods. Um, that is something that we will address once we get to those numbers. Those are good problems to have. Absolutely. So save those dates. Uh, what do you say? The 24th, 25th, 26th? Uh, no, uh, no. No. 23rd? 24th, 23rd, 24th, 25th. 25th. Yes. I'm looking at June. Go. That's why. You gotta go to July. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, save the dates. We'll be there. I'm sure I'll be doing some streaming of it as well. For those of you who just unfortunately, you know, can't make it, you know, it's a, yeah. a two-month window. It comes up quick. You know, money, I'm sure, you know, is still tight for some people um, during the pandemic. So um, I'll be streaming it. I will be there with my camera, obviously documenting the event um, and kind of going from there. And we'll, we'll, it'll be all over. So hopefully it's, hopefully this is awesome. I mean, it's going to be awesome regardless because us four are going to be in the same place. We're going to have fun. So yeah. Sure, but you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully, we're gonna see everybody's smiling faces. But um, we got anything else going on? I think that was the I'm gonna roll this up today. Sheep, no, let's close this oh, out. I would say I think sheep fell asleep. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us this week. Short show. Just wanted to bring that out to you since uh, you know, obviously, getting it out there is the most important thing. So we'll talk to everybody later. Now, I'm taking on the wall. I never miss a beat, that's the way.